We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, YouTube channel, Easter Egg Psychic. In this video, I'll take a look at actor Earl Bowen. He played the criminal psychiatrist, Dr. Peter Silberman, in James Cameron's The Terminator in 1984. This science fiction action film had a cast that included Arnold Schwarzenegger, Michael Bean, Linda Hamilton, Paul Winfield, Lance Henriksen, Rick Rossovich, Dick Miller, Bill Paxton, and Brian Thompson. Bowen reprises roles in the sequels, Terminator 2, Judgment Day in 1991, and Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines in 2003. He did a lot of voiceover work and had a part in the Star Trek The Next Generation TV episode Where Silence Has the Lease, Season 2, Episode 2, broadcast in 1988. Here's the alien, Najilam. Also in this, regulars, Patrick Stewart, Jonathan Frakes, LeVar Burton, Denise Crosby, Michael Dorn, Gates McFadden, Marina Surtees, Brent Spiner, and Will Wheaton. So I took a look at Earl Bowen. I thought he may resemble actor Jack Klugman and possibly another actor, actress, or group from some movie, TV series, etc. I was not quite sure of. My guess is George C. Scott. Klugman and Scott appeared together on a 1971 episode of The Merv Griffin Show, Season 8, Episode 241. Other guests, Carol Burnett, David Cassidy, and Brett Somers. Klugman and Scott, also both guest stars in separate episodes of Naked City. This aired on ABC from 58 to 63. John Franciscus and John McIntyre starred in this. All right, connections. Earl Bowen and George C. Scott were together in Season 2, Episode 7 of Mr. President. This broadcast on television... In the first season of Fox's primetime programming schedule in 1987, the episode was entitled Yes, Mr. President, Madeline Kahn, and Maddie Corman, also in this episode. Alternatively, I thought Earl Bowen may resemble actor Ted Levin and Jack Klugman. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television. From the past, I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is Easter Egg Guy, that's G-U-Y, at Yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.